Rand trading around that six Rand seventy level. So uh, some of that weakness remaining with the with the Rand. We had the dollar strengthening to one thirty one fifty this morning, and that follows that ADP jobs number yesterday, a lot better than expected. Uh, good morning, Stephen. Yes, it seems like uh, the upbeat uh, data from the U.S. is still continuing. Uh, we had uh, the ADP data, as you said yesterday, which was much better than expected. I mean, uh, it shows that uh, employment in the private sector at the U in the U.S. Uh, was up 297,000, and uh, that's compared to an increase in employment of about uh, 93, 92,000 uh, uh, in the month of November. Uh, the market had expected that employment gains will only increase by 100,000 in December. So that was a much better than expected number. And uh, you know, for the U.S., it's, it, it was quite important because we know that uh, during the week we had the FOMC minutes, where we, where the Fed uh, did indicate that uh, they will continue with their monetary uh, or, or their asset purchasing program, uh, given the weak uh, employment data out of the U.S. So uh, yesterday's number was really a welcome relief uh, in the U.S. Big number, of course, is the one that comes out tomorrow evening. That's the non-farm payroll and also the official employment rate. Unemployment sitting at 9.8% in the United States. Is the market starting to factor in a bit of an improvement in that rate given the ADP reading yesterday? Yes, Stephen. Uh, we've been looking at the forecast uh, from from the Bloomberg consensus, and and yes, you right. Uh, yesterday, after the ADP employment data, uh, most of uh, of economists uh, have uh, revised up their forecast for uh, payrolls data, which was, which will be out uh, tomorrow afternoon. And uh, at the moment, uh, though, uh, the unemployment rate is still expected to slow to 9.7 percent in December from 9.8% uh, uh, that was seen in November. So like I said, you know, uh, the, the, the data yesterday did improve sentiment and did improve growth pr uh, uh, prospects for the U.S. Well, Tabakhi, you mentioned ISM numbers aren't earlier this week, better than expected services numbers yesterday as well. All this started, it looks like it's mm. going to be quite supportive of the dollar. So could we see the rand weakening further from these levels? Yes, we can. And, uh, you know, first of all, we, we will be, uh, I think, I believe that if the number does uh, improve as the market expected in terms of the of the labor data tomorrow, the, 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 the dollar will uh, continue to gain uh, momentum. And uh, we, we did have the ISM non-manufacturing, which was also, uh, which also increased much better than uh, market consensus. And uh, we know on Monday we had ISM manufacturing index which also increased. So uh, with the ISM uh, data also overshooting market expectations, that uh, uh, reinforces uh, belief and expectation that the U.S. Uh, recovery is underway. Taboko, on the local front, we've got vehicle sales tomorrow, golden forex as well. And those golden forex numbers, I'm sure, will be quite key for the RAND. What, what, what's the market going to be looking at there? Um, at the moment, we don't have forecasts for tomorrow's data, but then when we look at the four uh, FX uh, reserves, uh, we do expect that we uh, will see uh, the Reserve Bank accumulating more reserves for the month of December because uh, we had the rent strengthening uh, quite a bit in the month of December. And uh, given that, uh, you know, the, the, the rally in the U.S. Uh, or in the dollar, I believe that uh, the FX data tomorrow, which will probably uh, indicate uh, increased accumulation of reserves, will have a negative effect on the rent. And we can see the rent continue to weaken uh, on the back of the data tomorrow. And uh, in terms of vehicle sales, uh, we expect in vehicle sales to also moderate uh, for December, given that uh, December is uh, also uh, quite a weak at, uh, at, at, at sales uh, for for uh, the monthly sales and given that um, you know uh, consumers go out there and uh, try and postpone their uh, purchases for the new year and uh, they rather you know buy uh, vehicle sales vehicles uh, in, in January rather than in December.